Davenport family is grieving after learning the worst case scenario. Their father, Brandon Colvin Sr., died in the devastating building collapse one week ago. A spokesperson confirmed today his body was pulled from the rubble this weekend. It's been an agonizing week for loved ones of those still unaccounted for. Two men still missing, 51-year-old Ryan Hitchcock and 60-year-old Daniel Preen. Well, the search for survivors is now over, and now the attention turns to shoring up the structure so recovery efforts can begin. Brandon Colvin Jr.'s graduation weekend was supposed to be a moment of celebration. It's now a moment of mourning. His father, Brandon Colvin Sr., was feared missing for days after an apartment building partially collapsed. He just give me a hug, tell me he loves me. The younger Colvin camped outside the site during his last week of high school. Then those fears were confirmed. His dad's body was pulled from the rubble Saturday, ending a week-long search. Meantime, we're hearing from residents who were inside the building when the walls gave way. I started hearing screams. That's when I knew that something serious had happened. And then I went to my window and I asked my um, my neighbor who was on the fifth floor, why was he screaming? Some people are frustrated that warning signs were ignored. This new surveillance video shows the seconds before the collapse. You see chunks of bricks falling from under a second floor window. It doesn't show the whole thing. The owner of the footage says the power was knocked out right after. As questions surrounding the collapse continue, a task force is shifting its focus to recovery efforts. This is a very dynamic situation, very fluid. We are doing the best we can. Unfortunately, something this large, we're looking at days and weeks of how we have to do things. And city leaders are dealing with the fallout from the horrific incident. Do I have regrets about this tragedy and about people potentially losing their lives? Hell yeah. The city released documents showing that city officials and the building's owners were warned for months that parts of the building were unstable.